Hello guys and welcome to this video. You are seeing a box here. Just a simple, simple box. Let's take you down here. Mind the cola in the background, I am a flob. So yeah, I can say a box. All it is is a box. Are you wondering what's in the box? So we'll go on and open said box. Now, if you've seen a bit of the blog stuff that I've done, you'll know what this is. So, let's just turn this. Can you see what I'm doing? So, we've got the coffee flask things. So, we have Gambit 13 Pro 128 gig memory card. You can see where this is going, can't you? We have a batch, a, ba a battery. So you have a twigs already. I bought a, bought a new camera. It's not to replace this. This is the, going to be a street camera. And what I mean by that, I mean it's going to be used just for doing mainly street photography, and it's going to be my day-to-day pick-up a camera kind of thing. I want to use this camera more in a sense. Oh. Pull that out, pull that out. Oh. I've gone with oh. turn this round. I might be able to put this further down now. The tripod. I've gone with an OMD L Olympus OND EM10 Mark III. Now, some of the plus points with the camera. I'll say this now, I was looking at a Sony A7 around the same price as this. Uh, with just one lens. That's all it had, one lens. And I wasn't that taken by that. So, we'll pause it here and I will start unboxing it in the next clip. Now the audio should improve a little bit more for this second part of the video due to the fact that I'm using my Rode NT USB mic to do this bit because I was using the Rode mic on top but if I'm going to be opening things I kind of need to be a bit, bit further down. So this is a micro four third camera so this means that I can not only use Olympus lenses, I can also use a uh, Panasonic lens, which is kind of a big one for me. But this has got the kit lens, and it got a 40 to 150, f4.1 to f1.6 R lens. Now, from the get-go, I love their packaging already. I've seen people unbox this before, and their packaging is just stunning. So we have, thank you for your purchase, 80 years of camera, so it's all about uh, bits they use, people who use their cameras, uh, ooh, that's an additional 6 month warranty on this, I will definitely be doing that. Uh, guides, now interesting fact, I have somewhere... Oh, where's that? I think, oh. It's either in here. It's either in here or in my SD card. A lot of stuff. Because I used to have an Olympic camera. That one, I thought it was one of the first cameras I ever had, actually. Where's it gone? Okay, I can't find it. If I find it, I'll throw it in somewhere. Uh, and they had their own memory card, they were like this. They weren't SD memory cards, and they were a royal pain in the backside. So, manual, which I'm going to have to dig through and have a good read through. So far, that's about all the languages. That's about the other lens. So, one thing I do like about this, it comes with a charger. Most cameras these days don't. Uh, that's the other thing I didn't like about the Sony. You have to purchase the things separately. 
So we got the zoom lens and the kit lens. Um, we've got the charger and some of it for table on charger strap. If we want to transfer from camera instead of opening the uh, door of it. Now, there is one thing, and it's one thing I don't like about the camera. And it's the only thing I don't like about it. And I will mention it in a minute. I'm not a fan of this. And I will say now, I know that this is a design fault on their end when they sell replacement parts for this bit. So, here's the camera itself, but there is one thing I do not like about it, and I will tell you what it is in a moment. Yeah, it's a nice weight actually. Now this does do 4K video, so we may see some 4K video from me, but highly doubt it. I come for the black version, they do it in like an old school silver version. It's tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. So it's not a flip out green, it's an articulated green. Which, to be fair, I prefer. For doing street stuff, you don't really want it to flip it out that way. But you could, you want it like that so you can do certain uh, pictures. Now, this is a bit I don't like. This flimsy looking door. What's the point? Where's the battery? Mm, I'll have to look for that. This flimsy looking door, it doesn't open that wide and they sell this as a part. So like I said, I know for a fact that they... that this breaks a lot. You don't sell this as a part. I don't like the idea that you've got to go down here to get your memory card and your battery out. It's just something I don't like. I would prefer it if they did what to do, what most people do on normal cameras is have it there. But it's meant to be a little pocket rocket really. Uh, 4K video does turn off mode in 4K but it's not the best. I think it got a 120 slow motion system as well. Uh, flashes up, there we go. So I'm going to have to have a look in the box where the uh, battery that comes with it is because it's not in the camera obviously uh, so I'll have a look for that so yep that is the camera uh, we'll just put that to one side this is the kit lens look at these little bags as well green's a bit of quality that's the kit lens it's a 14 to 42 millimeter lens so, nice little lens. It's a little similar to the, uh, oh, Sony kit lens that I had on the A5000. Yeah, come on. Hey, you pop. Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Well, another reason why some people jump to micro four thirds is this, for this very reason. Is this is like your big daddy lens, this is your telephoto lens. I think it's the equivalent of a 55 to 300. Alright, let's have a look. Well, that's nice. So, got that there. The, I believe this is a 40 to 150. Now, that is the equivalent of that. Check out the size difference of that. That's my Nikon to 55, uh, that's my 55 to 300. Uh, I really got anything that you could compare this one to anymore. But yeah, so these are the lenses, that's the camera. I will dig in the box and see where I can find the battery. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hello guys and welcome to this video. We have an unboxing. Uh, this is two in about two weeks for me, but I'm going to put these together of one video itself, because uh, they are related. And it would be nice to just do 
to the video, but I think I'm going to upload both of them at separate videos and upload them at different times, but do one as one full video. So what we've got here is, if you watch the vlogs, you'll know that I have sold uh, or traded in my Nikon D5600. Uh, I got a decent amount for it. I'll only have to pay, I think it's about 90 odd quid that that was with delivery to get this. So I will show you what I've got. So I'll put that there to one side for now. Put this out. So, see if I can frame this a little bit better. I might actually can bring this a little bit forward like that. There we go. There we go. So if any of you know what this is, uh, you what that you know I've been talking about this for a couple of days now, and I'm not gonna lie, although it was like shipping in my other camera. First time I shipped on the camera, but I was shipped one of these people before. Uh, it's mpb.com. They are such a great company in uh, Brighton. They do really well with things like this. And yeah, let's see what I've got here. Now, this is apparently the like new model that I've got. So, Pull it off. So as you can see, I have got the Sony A7, which I am more than pleased about. To be fair, it is a nice camera. I am looking forward to using this a lot. So let's get it out. I did a lot of research for buying the camera as well. A lot of research. Now there's a lot of people who let's see. A lot of people who say uh will say why didn't I go with the latest and greatest or yep. Or the A7 uh Mark II. And it just cost when it comes down to it. It won't be my mom. It is just cost when it comes down to it. It is a massive cost to get that camera. And I'm just dipping my feet into uh, this kind of world. So we've got the crappy charger thing, which is going to be going. I don't like charging things like that. Is the battery inside it? Yes, it is. Right. That feels really nice, actually. So this is a full frame camera. So if anyone knows, so basically it's got a thirty-five millimeter sensor on it, which is fantastic. Really. Uh, like I said, I did a lot of research about this camera. More. Than most people would, I would say. Now, I am going to buy some more batteries for this because the battery life on these Sony cameras are ridiculously bad after knowing of having one in the past. So, after knowing of having this Sony cameras in the past, so if you're not aware. I used to have a Sony A oh what was it A five hundred A five thousand model even to bring this down to about there uh, there we go bring up my tripod
So I'm going to do a new clip here because I want to frame this right. So here it is, this is the A7 and it is in very, very good condition. Put your record button there. Now I know a lot of people said that the controls on this was a nightmare and this has been very well looked after. You've got all your scene modes and let's just see if it's got any... I don't think it's got any charge in it. No. Which is slightly irritating so I'm going to have to charge it via this stupid thing. So I can't actually turn it on to make sure to see what flop. But we do... As so though you'll be looking at this going, well, you just got the camera. Where's the lens? Now, MVP only sell bodies of cameras, they don't do kits, so you have to buy one and then buy the lens separate. So, I have all I've gone for with the lens is gone with the there. I've gone with their own system of lenses. Uh, come on, get info.